Well, tonight we're learning things aren't quite adding up right over at the new Trans Bay Transit Terminal project. Andrea Borba is in San Francisco with the surprising discovery. Behind the fence guarding the hole in the ground that will be the new Trans Bay Terminal, a construction mess now overshadowed by a potential funding mess. Here's the deal. In exchange for building taller high rises south of market, developers agreed to pay for the tax district to fund the Trans Bay Terminal. But developers say they agreed to pony up a solid dollars and cents figure, while the city says they agreed to a percentage of the assessed value. Everyone had a different understanding of what, uh, what was agreed upon a few years ago, what the rates looked like. Uh, I think there was a lot of surprise uh, in the rise of real estate value and property values. Surprise, surprise, the price of property in San Francisco has grown larger than a skyscraper, meaning the math changed, putting the two sides hundreds of millions of dollars apart from a deal. We need to make sure that, that these developers pay what they're supposed to pay. Anyone can threaten to file a lawsuit, uh, and we shouldn't back down just because someone threatens uh, to sue. And the threat of lawsuits are in the air, which could prevent the Trans Bay train from ever entering the station, bogged down by years of court battles and not enough cash. No one wants to see lawsuits. No one wants to see uh, lawsuits tie up a project as important as this is to the city. Supervisor Scott Weiner says the city has recourse. If the developers try to block joining the tax district, it would put them in breach of contract, and the city could withhold building permits. In turn, that hole behind me could remain just that, a hole for years to come. On the Night Beat, I'm Andrea Borba.